Okay, good morning everyone. It is bright and early and my car just woke up. Look at that. Um, and we are going to be testing what my car shows on the dash versus what David does. So there's the cluster right in front of the driver on the screen and what they show is different right now. So I have autopilot 1.0. Let's go ahead and walk over here and I'll show you. So you can see right there what mine looks like. Currently they're going to probably look the same, but when we're driving, what you see will be different. So that is what I'm going to be filming. I have two of my GoPro Hero 5s that we hooked up and I'll kind of show you how I rigged those. It actually looks like it'll work really well. <laughs> um, let's see here. Okay, so the way it currently looks is right here. And when we turn these on, it will be able to show pretty much everything that's right there on the screen. So I hooked up one of these in David's car, I'm gonna hook one up in my car so we can do an autopilot 1.0 versus 2.0 comparison. So I'll go ahead and hook mine up in my car real quick and then I think we're going to go on about 5-10 minute drive probably on the interstate so you can kind of see what cars it's recognizing, what the big difference is right now. But keep in mind this is only a short term difference. Pretty soon here that car, the Autopilot 2.0 car, will be getting an update which should bring it up to the standards of Autopilot 1 currently. And then in the future, they'll keep rolling out updates, which will make it even better and even full self-driving. So keep that in mind. The differences, yes, are now temporary. And if you want, leave a comment saying how you can't believe the car is delivered without auto headlights or whatever. I don't really care. But it does have auto headlights now, so we have that update at least. So what I'll probably try to do is do autopilot 1.0 here, 2.0 here, and maybe my internal camera right there just so you can kind of see what's on the road. But yeah, without further ado... Let's go for a drive. Okay, hopefully the road noise isn't too bad, but I'm using this camera so you can see the road. And then we have a GoPro on my car, David's car, and I am following him. I'm on autopilot. He doesn't have that release yet, but he's just gonna be driving, obviously. So yeah, that way you guys can see exactly what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and put the camera back on the dash and we're just gonna drive for a little while.
Oh, super zoomed in. Give me a minute. Oh, that was scary. Okay, so we just went on a quick like five minute drive. Hopefully there's some footage and you can kind of see what the screens show. For my car, it will show cars and other things because I do have autopilot. Since they haven't pushed out the software for the 2.0 hardware yet, David doesn't have that. So unfortunately all he has are the ultrasonics on the side at the moment. So you can kind of see how it looks. I don't know, we'll uh, head home and edit the footage and see how it looks. Hopefully it's not too like boring and anticlimactic. But that way you can at least see what current versus older, I don't want to say old, but that way you can at least see what it looks like. And hopefully that helps. I had a couple requests for this, so I figured I'd go ahead and do it real quick. David's actually heading out to Kansas right now for the holidays. I'm hanging out in Denver, so it was perfect time to just kind of jump on the highway and shoot a little footage before he leaves. So I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and head home, edit the footage, post it up today as my video for Fridays. If you haven't already kind of figured it out, I post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday most of the time. So don't kill me if I don't post on those days, but those are the three days that I'll try to upload something. Uh, I have some cool stuff coming up. Anyway, if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Okay, just a quick recap. I'm editing my footage now, and I wanna know if you guys actually noticed the ultrasonic sensors on David's car, or the 2.0 car, actually did pick up a lot more than my car did at basically the same distance. So there was that, and then obviously I had the cars on my screen. Some of them were imperfect at a few times, but for the most part mine did really well. Things to keep in mind though is yes, they will be pushing out an update. I see all these comments everywhere saying how they can't believe Tesla would release a car without the autopilot hardware when people paid for it. And it's kind of a thing that they released it to get the hardware out sooner because they had to and software is coming. But the great thing about Tesla is they will push out the update. Elon Musk's recent tweet, I don't know, maybe it'll be right here, recently did say it should be out hopefully by next week. So hopefully, uh, Within a week or so, they will start pushing out that update and eventually it'll hit everybody with the Autopilot 2.0 hardware. Hopefully we're able to see the differences in the sensors because I do believe the 2.0 hardware uh, definitely improved the sensors. They were able to pick up things at a lot further distance. I think that's basically it for the recap. Sorry about the tire pressure warning on the 2.0 car. It's cold here in Colorado and that tire just happened to be a little low because it hadn't been driven in a day. Uh, it'll go away here soon. But yeah, that's basically it. I will talk to you guys later.